uh, in the background. You can see some other buildings that are out here on the horizon. And these buildings, I'm not sure how, how much we can zoom in, hopefully a little bit with the camera, but uh, what you may be able to make out is that it looks like the buildings are kind of worn down and old, um, and they're sort of abandoned right now. That is the old Crab Island Fish Factory. And that fish factory was functional from the 1930s um, up through the 1960s. And what they did was they processed a type of fish out there called menhaden. And I'm going to hold this up for you guys. And this right here is a menhaden. Uh, and this is probably almost a, a good full-size menhaden. Uh, a menhaden is related to herring. And you can see it's kind of a thin, narrow, skinny fish, and they travel in really big schools. And these are not very good at all for people to eat. They're very oily fish. But they're excellent if you want to make protein, fish protein. And that's exactly what they did out at that factory for 30 years. They had a lot of boats that would go out, and they had airplanes that would go out and spot giant schools of these fish. And they would send the boats out, catch these fish, bring them back in, and process them there at the plant. They would essentially boil these fish. And they would extract all the protein, or what would be the meat, out of these fish. And they would use that protein to make uh, uh, different feeds for cattle and chicken and other things because uh, there's a lot of protein in these fish. Uh, so they did that for 30 years but sooner or later the fish ran out uh, and it just wasn't profitable for them to do anymore. Um, so the fish factory actually closed down. Um, when it was functional in the 40s and 50s when it was busiest uh, they processed about 400 million fish a year just at this factory alone and that comes out to about 400,000 fish a day. So a lot of fish, and it's no wonder that we don't have as many of these as we did before. So, and right now the, um, there's been talk about them tearing down the, the factory, but there have been peregrine falcons nesting out there. So for the time being, I think it's staying put, and it's actually a big, big uh, landmark in this area. Uh, the locals like to refer to it as the stink house, because when it was processing these fish, uh, that you could smell that for many, many, many miles away.